In today's video, we have a very special guest. Someone who has every single Ultra unit and LF unit completely maxed out at 14 stars. He probably has the best Dragon Ball Legends account out there. And he'll attempt to predict what we'll be getting for Dragon Ball Legends 5th year anniversary. As always, if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you guys simply like and subscribe and keep those notifications on to keep getting updated here 24-7 everything Dragon Ball Legends. And with that being said, let's just get into the video. Guys, so we have a very special guest uh, in today's video. I mean, honestly, it's a very... Um, it's it's an honor to have him on and it's a guest that does not need any introductions whatsoever pretty much the i would say pioneer of dragon ball legends uh one of the original content creators that has i believe the best account in dragon ball legends by a mile he has every single unit maxed out 14 stars including ultras and lfs as well um he is sitting at just a quarter million subscribers over on youtube which is very very impressive um, and on top of that, I would say, and I've mentioned it, I, I've always mentioned this uh, to Goresh, which obviously you guys can see here through my screen, is he is probably one of the hardest working um, content creators I know. The way he pushes out videos is very, very impressive. Um, I don't know where he gets the energy from, and I've, I've talked to him about this before. But uh, yeah, man, it's an honor to have you here um, on my channel. And believe it or not, this is the second take we are doing this because I did not capture his voice before. <laughs> So I feel a little bit guilty. So let's just straight up get into the questions um, about the anniversary. I'm going to be asking questions about characters and events as well. So let's just straight up get to the first question. All right, Gresh. Question number one, and you probably already know this. Um, what would you personally like to see for the 50th anniversary? And what would be your realistic expectations as a follow-up question? All right. So in terms of my like what I would want to see, as a content creator, as somebody who likes uh, getting views and, and stuff like that, you know, you know how it works. Um, I would like to see four big releases during the anniversary. Last anniversary kind of felt a little bit stretched out. Uh, the window of time in between each banner kind of felt like the same amount of time that we have just a, during a normal two and a half month period. So I would like to see them kind of give us a bit more than usual during the anniversary. So what I would do is I would sort of structure the anniversary to be a double ultra release and a double lf release so what, what you basically what you do is you sandwich in the two lf characters with two ultras so you start with the bang with the ultra character and then you end with a bang with another ultra character and you know looking at all the characters that we don't really have great representation for um and also big moments that we don't have in the game yet um i would start with an ultra super saiyan 2 gohan from the cell games I think there are a lot of animations that uh, we do not have from that fight, right? You know, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that destroys the Cell Juniors. Super Saiyan 2 Gohan that, uh, you know, has like some kind of counter Kamehameha against Cell when he goes on a rampage. Thousand percent. Uh, the Gohan, Gohan who tanks Cell's kick to the head and then just like, you know, catches his foot or whatever it was. Like, there's a lot of animations that are left in that fight that we haven't gotten. And the last Gohan that we got from that fight is LF Gohan, which is what? Four years old that's so, insane yeah that's pretty yeah it's wild. been a while it's yeah it's been a long time so i think that would be a really good way to start the anniversary i think obviously it's a hype enough moment we one of the most you know well-known moments in the series yeah um, so uh really and, quick let me just sneak in here yeah. and just say this um that that is i've had so many discussions with different uh people about this and that is the most well thought out answer um i've gotten so far and we are currently getting monthly ultras guys whether you like it or not that seems to be the case and do you think they're going to do that with normal months but not for anniversary months so that's actually a very very good possibility i could definitely see happening and uh, i never really heard that answer before surprisingly so i just want to say that's a very very good answer now um these are your personal preferences right not your realistic expectations yeah. okay yeah this is what i think i would like to see i don't know okay. if they would do it though yeah. um all right so moving on from there we are going to be in like like the first third of June, um, maybe like, you know, almost approaching the middle of June. That is going to be the first anniversary of superhero releasing. So I think it's a really good time to release Orange Piccolo as the first LF character. Um, again, first anniversary superhero. Regen has been getting a lot of love recently. Red Cell, Ultra Kid Boo, the Green Boo equipment, uh, Blue Zamasu. So I think if they got like one more top tier really like competitive unit they could actually be in a really good spot in terms of their strength in the meta right now mm -hmm. so you know orange piccolo coming out he's like a dominant character maybe a, I, I probably i probably want him to be either a defense type or a strike based character uh, to fit with kid boo and cell 
Mm -hmm. And I think at that point we'd be looking really good for Regent. Yeah, um, Regent you mentioned is actually the, very underrated. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned in the other take that uh he could be a good green character, which I agree with because yeah. um Regent doesn't really like hasn't really gotten the new green in a while. And then also movies could use a good green as well. Mm -hmm. Thousand percent. Because I mean yellow's taken with Ultra Kid Boo. We got Blues and Masu that's taken, second form cell, which is surprisingly very good. He's taken in the red department. The only two colors left would be purple and green. If we just take a look at purple, we got the Power Awakening Piccolo, which would kind of be weird um, to have his previous transformation also be purple. Although purple could be replaced a thousand percent, but movies does have Ultra Broly as well. So just like you said, it would be perfect green for not only, uh, you know, of course, region um, and as well as Sagas because Sagas, I don't think they have any... What's their best green? I don't have it pulled up here. Like it's Dragon there? Fist, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he's replaceable, a thousand percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. I mean, uh, yeah. So orange pickle. So you have a uh, personal preference of you said uh, Super Saiyan two Teen Gohan from the Cell Saga. You have orange pickle following up as the first LF. And what would be your next picks? So the next LF would be, I think, more of a, I guess, negotiable one. Um, in terms of what I would want to see, it would be Goku and Frieza. What I actually proposed uh, in one of my videos is they could do a tag Goku and Frieza, but then make them an assist with 17. Ooh. So, what? Yeah, that so it could be pretty like, crazy. It could be like the first triple character. I mean, obviously, you wouldn't be able to like control 17. It'd be like sort yeah, of yeah. the old an school assist, assist yeah. character. But Goku and Frieza would be swapping in and out. You'd be controlling both of them. Um, I think that'd be cool, right? That's and it would really also kind of answer, fit yeah. with the uh, it would fit with the blue seventeen we got this year, right? So, mm -hmm. damn, that'd be so much tags. That'd be Goku. It's like Saints, pretty much, right? That'd be Universe Rep. Yeah, their uh, team would Androids, be crazy. <laughs> that it just <laughs> goes yeah. on. It's pretty wild. Now, what is your realistic expectations for the anniversary? Well, okay, so so I forgot to mention my fourth character. My, oh yeah, uh, yeah, Ultra right, at the yeah. end. I mean, I, I guess we we're all just assuming it's going to be Ultra Vegeta Blue, and yes, mm -hmm. that, that's what I would like to see. Yeah. As a, yeah. As somebody who, uh, you know, is a YouTuber, uh, that's, that would be pretty good for me. <laughs> it was ultra real. A thousand percent, yeah. All right. So in terms of the realistic expectations, I think all you do is you just chop off Gohan from the list. And what I think you do is you probably just reorder it a little bit. So I think what they're probably going to do is start the anniversary with Goku and Frieza. I think that's going to be the start. There's two options for that first uh, first LF though, it's either going to be Goku and Frieza, or I think it potentially could be the GT Spirit Bomb. Oh um, yeah, that's been tossed around. You, you know, you know, really quick, just to cut in real quick. Um, I think every single big celebration, we have these expectations of who's leading the candidates, of who's going to be the next character, and, and it's fine. We all toss up some some ideas here and there, but there's always an unexpected character every single big celebration. I mean, who expected your reign to be represented around <laughs> alongside MUI Goku? Nobody, right? I mean, we ended up getting a uh, Super Saiyan Blue, you know, transforming Vegeta, but Yurin was just out of out of nowhere. And I think I think Spear Bomb Goku, like you just said, or GT Spear Bomb Goku, that is, um, is actually a very it's it's like a not not, as, not necessarily a curveball, but it's a character nobody would expect too much. Like if if you were to see that in a preview, you wouldn't be like, okay, we expected you know a Spear Bomb GT Kid Goku. So I do think that actually has a very good possibility you know because gt is still very yep. good they could just add on one more good unit to the tag itself to just keep the ball rolling you know yeah and i think if they do do that gt spirit bomb goku they could zenkai the super saiyan 4 gogeta like that that would be a way oh they could spin God, it that'd i think be absolutely insane dude oh that would yep. be crazy um I, I just spoke to kuba about uh, which is actually one of my next questions um also which actually we'll just jump straight up into this um really quick um every single big celebration does have a lf zenkai right now i i thousand percent do think we're gonna get an lf zenkai you just tossed out super saiyan 4 gogeta which is a very good possibility but if we do get ultra you know vegeta blue i do see corrupt samasu getting a zenkai because he's also Maybe. regen right he, he yeah. doesn't buff regen does he uh i it's tricky i think i think he does actually let me let me check he doesn't. God key, powerful opponent, future. God key. Okay, there you go. That makes more sense. All right. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's a good possibility. You said Super Saiyan 4 yep. Gogeta. That that would be absolutely crazy. <laughs> I, I I think that would overshadow perhaps maybe even Vegito Blue, uh, Ultra Vegito Blue. I I mean, there's to me there are three options 
to me, it's going to be, depending on who they who they uh, release in part one, is it going to be the GT Spirit Bomb or the Goku and Frieza? Goku and Frieza would mean that we're probably going to get the purple UI Goku to get one. Oh, um, that's a good option. Yeah. And then if it's the GT Spirit Bomb, I think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is likely. If they want to wait until the end, they can... <laughs> They could do Ultra Vegeta Blue and then Zenkai the Yellow Gogeta Blue at the same time. Oh, ooh, the Yellow Gogeta Blue. That, that would be pretty crazy. Do you think they could do that, though? I mean, does, uh, they have Super Vegito technically, right? He's still valuable, even though it's going to be one year. But, um, yeah, that would be pretty... I mean, he's going to eventually get one. But, uh, yeah, that's actually some pretty good guesses. You said UI Goku. You said, um, you know, potentially the Yellow Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Uh, Zamasu's in the mix as well, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I do think we're going to get one, though. Do, do you agree with that? If Yeah, if I had to yeah. put my money on one, I would say UI Goku, purple. Oh, that's that's a bold statement right there. Okay. Yeah, that's that, that'd be pretty nice. Because uh, God Key does get buffed as well every single anniversary, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the first anniversary, we got Super Saiyan Blue Goku for the first time, and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Second anniversary, we got Vegeta Blue, which is God Key. 30th anniversary, we ended up getting a GT and as well as Corrupt Samas, which is God Key. And then 4th anniversary, we got... Who do we get? My tribute? Oh, MUI Goku. So, yeah, God Key is a trend for the anniversary, so I could definitely see that happening as well. Um, just really quick, because I don't want to hold you up too much here, um, since this is our second take. Um, last question, okay? Now, this is a pretty... I don't, I don't want to worry... I don't want to word it as a worry of mine for the anniversary, but um events what can dragon ball legends do in terms of events and, and i know you're a big fan of pve by the way you're like a huge pve guy am i right uh no 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 yeah, that's sarcasm yeah. that's sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> that's sarcasm before you answer that all right so yeah i mean pve is obviously an issue in dragon ball legends in my personal opinion although they they just dropped some pretty cool updates um such as a brand new profile card it's not necessarily pve but and as well as a brand new upgrade system. So not quite sure how that's going to work in terms of details, but we have an, an idea. Um, it looks pretty interesting. They might tie into something else in the future in terms of PvE, but what can Dragon Ball Legends do that could differentiate a regular month in Dragon Ball Legends? I think that's the biggest issue with the game, honestly. Yeah, honestly, I think they, because they, we just got an announcement for like, what is it, like the new heavy attack or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, and they mentioned that was only in PvE. Yeah. So honestly, I think that's already a win for the like. I'm not gonna call this like an anniversary thing, but it kind of is tied to the anniversary because it's releasing right next to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but having like a new mechanic like that at the same time as the anniversary, I think for PVE it opens up a lot more stuff. And so what I think they're probably gonna do is they're probably gonna start making PVE content a lot more difficult, just because if we're getting a new mechanic like this, it's probably gonna be easier for us, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe they're going to add more challenging PvE content. Maybe they're going to add new modes, new events. So I actually think this is kind of exciting from a PvE perspective because PvE has been kind of stagnant for a while. And so them changing up and adding specific mechanics just for PvE, right? They already mentioned that you can't use this mechanic in PvP. I think that's a good, yeah. th that's a good thing, right? Yeah, um, it's, it's just I, to clear up some confusion here because um, some people got mistaken. Um, it's It says... The mechanic specifically for heavy attack is for PVE, but the upgrade system in terms of blasts, uh, special and strikes is for PVP as well, right? Yeah, I mean it doesn't specify okay. for the for the boost the the arts boost or whatever, but for the heavy strike, yeah, that one is specifically <clears throat> stated to just be PVE. Okay, yeah, I, I mean it's gonna be a grind, but uh, I do if if it's for and here's another thing, and I'm starting to go off track real quick because since we're here on uh, already on the subject, um, for for defensive type units, is this a bad thing? Because there's no defensive type stats here, right? So technically speaking, yeah. a unit with defense uh, would be kind of lacking here since everybody's just getting stronger, right? Would, would that overshadow defensive units? We'll have to see what they do with these yeah. arts yeah. boosts. Because like, what, what if, for example, there's an arts boost that gives you like reduced damage received or something? Like, I don't know. Maybe, Could yeah. Be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. All right, so um, last thing before we uh, before we leave here is uh, Shenron. It's something that happens every single anniversary. Do you think we're gonna get anything, uh, any new, you know, any new dragons in terms of Perunga, uh, Super Shenron this year anniversary, this fifth year anniversary? I mean, the Goku and Frieza—they do that as part one. Uh, do Super Shenron. 
I'm telling you, this is like this is panning out to be, you know, pretty a pretty straight path forward for part one. We have Goku and Frieza as the headlining LF character for part one. We have Zenkai, Purple, UI Goku, and then we have Super Shenron. Boom. 100 percent Yeah, that, that's actually one of the best answers I've heard, honestly. Uh the whole sandwich thing that you said in the beginning of the video with uh, the two uh the two ultras makes complete yeah. sense. It does make sense. That's what I would want, but we'll see. No, no, no. It's it's actually a very realistic expectation as well, because in terms of the ultras that is right a sandwich ultra depending on which ultra it is we don't know but it, it makes complete sense just because we are getting monthly ultras so why would they do that you know every single month and then just not do it for the anniversary it wouldn't make sense to me personally but uh but yeah thank you so much for uh for coming on um it's very late oh it's actually 5 p.m for you but yeah it's very late so i need to go to sleep here and um i will link obviously you guys all know goresh i will link his socials down below as well but once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And Goresh, is there anything else you want to say before we end the video? Uh, just hopefully the anniversary is good. It's fun. Um, I'm, I'm really hopeful it's going to be better than last year. But uh, I appreciate you having me on. This is our first time uh, doing a collab together. Yeah, so nice. hopefully we do more in the future. For sure. Appreciate you, Goresh. All right, guys. You yep. have a great night. I'm off to sleep. Have a good one. Peace.